Travis Geegan Channel, Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley, and what a surprise to wake up to a winter wonderland. <laughs> oh, yeah, gorgeous. Did you get it over beautiful. there, Beautiful. Beautiful weather. Did you get a bunch of snow over there, too? Yeah. It oh. was, yeah. It, it's. Uh, I was going to yell at Elena, but I don't because I don't uh, believe that meteorologists have <laughs> godlike powers like pretty much every viewer does. You said that. Uh, oh, thanks a lot, Elena. People are dumb <laughs> when it comes to but stuff But if Offsider like was there, you'd yell but, at him. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Because I treat women and men differently. Right. Well, you have. Yeah. Um, sweet. You have to. Yeah. They're the fairer sex. I, I wake Anywho. up and, you know, Sydney's on spring break and mm -hmm. I, I kind of, well, how do I want to put it? Since I don't have an alarm clock to answer to at 3 a.m. like some of us do, I blissfully wake from my slumber at 7.35 <sighs> or so. And there she is. Trophy wife. What mm -hmm. can I do? You know, the luck of some guys. <laughs> What do you do, man, right? So she's like, you should see it outside. It snowed. And there's a lot of schools that are canceled. And I'm thinking, all right, this is a late April Fool's thing because all the schools are canceled, right? Right. That's, yeah. Well, no, some of them had spring break last week, apparently. That's so right. those that weren't get that. didn't get to school. Their, their, their class is canceled today. And I peeked out the window, and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. There's got to be two inches of snow out there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I... I've actually got a story on that coming up. I'm in a ready. Bit. That's what we call a tease in the business. I like that. Uh, but, oh, I, I forgot to tell you the other day, I took a Max to see Black Panther. How was it? Finally saw Black Panther. It was really, really good. Really? It was almost great. I, I, I don't know why it wasn't great, but it was really good. It, it exceeded my expectations because yeah. I didn't have uh, – I, I didn't I – didn't, blow right. it out of the stratosphere like a lot of the reviews did and a lot of like i think it got was it 100 percent on rotten tomatoes or like 99 i don't know some don't ridiculous number like that it. but I it was yeah. i'm not a big superhero movie guy i'm right. not a big action movie guy right it was it was borderline great it was really close to great i would compare it to like it was like Iron Man, but without the, the dialogue, I thought the fight scenes were great. Yeah. I thought the story was really good. It was nuanced. It wasn't sim it wasn't overly simplistic. Yeah. It had it, it it had depth. It was it's one of those few times where the the you know what everybody is saying is actually is actually true. And I was I was kind of skeptical going in. Here's but here's man, what I know about good. Black Panther. I haven't seen it, but mm -hmm. It stayed at the the movies for a long time, which means it was yeah. making money. Which right, because you know, if a movie's not making money anymore, it's in and out in a week. You yeah. know they they they, oh. they 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 can tell they you if a movie's going to be successful by end of week two if it's in the theaters because if it's not making money, it's gone. It's off right. to the it, it's gone. But it stayed in theaters for weeks and weeks and weeks, which means attendance was good. Um, mm. It was number one for a, a lot of weeks. It did remarkably well money wise, and everybody I've talked to, and, and you know, I'm not a big uh, superhero movie guy either, mm -hmm. but I did take Colton to see um, that Thor Ragnarok, okay, uh, a few months ago when that was playing at the movie theater, and I I thoroughly enjoyed that. I, yeah. It was on par with uh, like Flash Gordon, right. back in you know way back the the '80s Flash Gordon thing. So mm -hmm. there was some. There was some comedy in it. There was it was kind of a yeah. tongue in cheek look at superhero stuff, and uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. So good for yeah. Black Panther. Now, yeah, I took him. Max is eight. It was PG thirteen. Yeah. There was a, a decent amount of violence in this, but it wasn't. It's it wasn't. Cartoon. I wouldn't call it gratuitous at all. It's cartoon it was, violence. It was really. It wasn't. I don't. I don't even think it was. It was. I mean, these fight scenes were awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was. It was really one of the. As far as superhero movies go, like I said, I would say between that and Iron Man, for me, it's it's a toss up as yeah. to which one which one is better. Now, did Just, you go to I, the theater theater? Or did you go to the yes. bargain theater? Theater theater. Wow. We went Ooh. theater. Yeah, Dad, Daddy spent some spent dropped some, a, dropped a, few, some bank, huh? a few shackles. Look yes, yes, he did a little bit. And Good for uh, you, man. Um, but did it you was the D box yeah. seats. No. Oh, okay. No, we we snuck down to the the other seats though because there weren't a lot of people in. Did you? The, not D box, it, but there were like the you you'd have to pay extra for these for the kind of more reclined. Yeah, yeah. So we snuck down to those because there was nobody in them. All right, well, so, true confessions right there. There you go. But yeah, it was it was really good. If you it, you know if I th I think I think six seven years old could probably still appreciate it. The dialogue was 
wasn't great, but it was pretty good for, well, for especially kid, for an action hero movie. Didn't care about dialogue, you know. Well, no, but it's a PG thirteen movie. It's right. not. It's 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 a movie you take your kid to, right? Because it's got good message and it's it's uh, like I said, it, you know, a, a few mild swears, nothing big, nothing he hasn't heard me utter during Michigan State football or basketball games. So, right? Uh, yeah, it was good. Really, really, good really highly recommend it. If I had a medal, I would pin it on you for being father of the year. Taking your kid to Thank the you. I don't, I don't need no medals. Just need a well-adjusted child. That's there it. There you have it. Well, you've done, you've right. done, you've done the, the Lord's work by taking your kid to a movie. I, I try. There you, go. I, you know, and I didn't do a story on this, but today is the uh, 50th anniversary of the uh, Martin Luther King uh, Jr. assassination. So yep. I think it's a, it's a good time to reflect on, uh, I think, the all the message. unbelievable... Uh, advances that have been made as far as race relations go here and around the world. It's, it's, a, it's amazing where we were and where we are now is literally night and day from just from the 1960s. But we still got a ways to go. I hate that because we don't have a ways to go. Yeah, we've we got, do. we've got improvements and, but those are on individuals because there are individual racists yes. out there and you're not going to stop that, but we don't have a ways to go collectively. We really don't. We have a rate of ways to go with certain with individuals, but okay. I think it's I think that we're in. Uh, it's amazing, and it it makes me proud that we you know, should have been there then, but we weren't. But we're we're pretty close to there now, okay. which is good. Thank All you. Right. Uh, latest group of uh, potential jurors for the Bill Cosby sexual assault retrials reportedly more opinionated and less willing to serve. Two-thirds of the more than 100 of those questioned say they have already formed an opinion on Cosby's guilt or innocence. The 80-year-old comic is charged with drugging and molesting a woman in 2004. His first trial ended in a hung jury. There's no way you're going to – this is – you're not going to get any – there's there's no way Bill Trosby, Cosby can get a fair trial. It's impossible. Yeah. And, and then it's because he did it, and everybody knows he did it. And it's like you you wouldn't find a person who is not insane who doesn't think Cosby did this. Um, so Whoopi Goldberg, uh, I don't think thinks he did it, uh, but she is quite possibly insane. Uh, that said, he did it, but he can't get a, a fair trial. It's a weird we're in a weird kind of place with this well, because he's guilty. Yeah. <laughs> because he's guilty. I don't know. What, an, what do what you an do? End to Bill Cosby, though. You know? I know. Who would have thought that? I know. Is I mean, I love Bill Cosby. I, 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 I don't even like to say loved. I don't say because it's weird. Because, because I don't see him as as a. He was part of my childhood growing up. Sure. Cosby Show and all the 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 Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids it was my favorite cartoon. Was it really? Um. When I when I was ga- when I was getting fillings at the dentist office, you know they you, they gave you a choice. Who you want? To, what do you want to listen to? I always listened to Bill Cosby. Yeah. When I was eight, nine, ten years old, getting fillings, and you know on the nitrous and just laughing my ass off, it was it was great. And yeah, and and all these women coming out, and the fact that this was kind of an open secret in Hollywood for years, like a lot of things were open secrets, uh, but. Man, yeah, a sad end to, uh, I don't know. What do you do, man? Shrug your shoulders and, and move on. But, yeah, I mean, do you think I, – are you? everybody's formed their opinion. I, if any, any juror who says they don't know or they don't think is lying, no. I, don't think you're, I don't think you could possibly get an honest juror, juror to serve. I know the one time I was on a jury pool and they wadeered me into the jury, they, they asked mm-hmm. – it was about a – the trial was about a guy who had allegedly fooled around with a 13-year-old special needs kid. Mm. And I know, right? And when they came, you know, the defense got juror, the defense lawyer was asking me about uh, if I had any affiliation with special needs kids or had I had any ever exposure to special needs kids. And I, at yeah. no point in my life had I ever been more thankful to have been a part of No More Sidelines mm-hmm. um, because – and I literally had to force myself from from clobbering the guy on my way out of the court because when they dismissed me because I would be you know not an impartial juror, right? I walked past the defendant and I I wanted to clothesline him. 
I literally, yeah, I walked right past him right there as I was walking out of the courtroom, and I had all I could do to not just punch him right between the eyes. Was he? I mean, was he found guilty? Seems like remember. that would have been a pretty big story. I, I think he. I think he was. I, I, okay. I can't remember though. It was. It was. It was quite a while ago now. Yeah. And se- it's it's a, you know sex crimes involving obviously involving children children are special with special needs Ugh. always terrible anything involving women is 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 bad and yeah. you know I mean with the Cos going back to the Cosby case because this is just I mean it wasn't just this woman that's a, I mean you've well, got, got a string of them yeah. you've got a string of women and that's where. I mean, what if only one of them is telling the truth or two? Right. I mean, there's no way they're all collectively got together. Right. They're all in cahoots. I mean, right. you have to be the conspiracy theorist beyond all conspiracy theorists to to believe that's that's what's going on. But wow. Well, I told you we we're going to talk about the weather. Snowy conditions expected to continue across Michigan and across West Michigan and Muskegon today. Winter weather advisory remains in effect. Get this, you could get an additional four inches of snow Ugh. between now and Friday. So I, you, we had a ton of accidents this morning. There was a crash that shut down in Muskegon County, shut down M37 north of Bailey. Uh, five, maybe six cars involved. I mean, people just don't, I mean, they're not expecting to have to drive in these conditions in April, uh, which is weird because, I mean, you know, we get this. This isn't un- an unprecedented amount of snow. Yeah, but still people get. are sick of it. Right, yeah, but still drive better. Yeah. That's my solution. It's, crashes are still all preventable. Just drive slower. You know, you're smart enough. You've been you've been living here long enough. Anyway, sp- what I put the onus on people. All these crashes are preventable. Uh, sports: Kansas City blanks the Tigers one to nothing. Cubs: Cincinnati postponed due to I believe snow. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the Pistons or Red Wings for the rest of the season because nobody cares now. I mean, they're playing out. They're playing out the string. You got a month left. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's sports. Dave Cagley, enjoy your Wednesday. See ya.